Here. Director Reeder. Here. Director Holloway. Director Shaw. Director Ashby. Director Harris. Here. Director Ashby. Okay. Director Jennings. Here. Director Desmond. Here. Director Frost. Director Kennedy. Here. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Director and Tony. Director Holloway is here. Thank you. Welcome back. Director Natoli. <laughs> Do we have Director Natoli? Yes. I'm here. Thank you. Yes. And Director uh, Sunita. Here. Thank, Thank you. you. We do have a quorum established. Next slide, please. Lindy, for the record, um, Director Kennedy is double here. Yes, I heard that. Thank you. So we have a report out on closed session, Government Code Section 54956.9, consultation with agency counsel regarding existing litigation. Safeca versus Carol J. Johnson as trustee of the Carol J. Johnson Trust et al. Superior Court case number 34-2019-0024-8521. Nothing to report at this time. Thank you. Government Code Section 54956.8, Conference with Real Property Negotiators. Sacramento County Assessor Parcel Number 2740120004005 and 006. Negotiating Party Kathleen Rose on behalf of the Yerudia family, Lanny T. Winberry Esquire on behalf of the estate of Evelyn L. Ingalls. Under negotiation, price and terms of payment. This is uh, Jeremy Goldberg, Agency Counsel. Nothing to report, uh, no action taken. Thank you. Next slide, please. We have consent matters items two through eight, um, excuse me, two through 11 are in order. Next slide, please. Can we get a motion on those, Director Harris? Yeah, so um, do we have any questions from directors on the consent items? If, if then, the I'll move the consent calendar. calendar. Second, second, for Shaw. Motion by Director Holloway and a second by Director Shaw. Is there any public comment on consent, Lindy? I have not received any, Director Harris. Very good, uh, we can proceed with the roll call vote. Thank you. Director Conan? Aye. Director Abdus? Aye. Director Reeder? Aye. Director Holloway? Aye. Director Shaw? Aye. Director Ashby? Director Harris? Aye. Director Jennings? Aye. Director Desmond? Aye. Director Frost? Director Kennedy? Aye. Director Natoli? Aye. Director Cerna? Aye. Motion passes with 11 member approval. Thank you. Next slide, please. Separate matters items 12, update on authority to transfer excess credit from the American River Watershed Common Features Natomas Basin Project to the American River Watershed Common Features 2016 Project. Next slide, please. All right, thank you very much. So I wanted to, um, we've been working at this for a long time. I wanted to bring you up to speed as to where we are on this. This is an important issue. Um, the reason I have this slide up here is the Corps always does their work under authority given them by the, the Congress to look at things. And so five of our projects were all studied and got one through their process under the American River Watershed Authority. 
So we use this um, argument with Congress as we are trying to get authority to move excess credit from the Tomas to to some of the other projects. So I just wanted to, to set that up by, by showing you that slide. So Lindy, if you go to the next slide, please. <clears throat> so as, as most of you are aware, um, Safeco went ahead in 2007 and advanced construction with funding support from the state of about 18 miles, about $410 million worth of projects of work. While uh, the federal government went through their process that ultimately led to an authorized project in 2014. The project participation agreement was executed in August of 2016. After that, SAFE and the state still had to continue to advance the real estate and some of the other relocation and, and some of that work. So we estimate that there'll be approximately $100 million that we'll have spent in the Tomas in excess of what our actual cost share is. About 30% of that belongs to SAFE and about 70% to the state. So if you go to the next slide, Lindy. So what the plan is, is to transfer that $100 million in excess credit from the books on the Thomas and apply it towards our cost share for American River Common Features 2016. If you go to the next slide, Lindy. So uh, I just wanted to uh, walk you through what it's take, taken to get us here. We realized that this was going to become an issue back in 2010 and started and that there was no authority to actually do this. So we started working on getting that authority. Congressman Matsui in January 2011 introduced a, a bill that was uh, allow us to, to move these excess credits around. And um, her idea was she'd introduce as a standalone bill that would then be incorporated into the next Water Resources Development Act. Congress went through the whole two years of Congress and didn't do anything on the water bill. So, bills that aren't acted on at the end of each Congress die. So and at the start of the next Congress, again, in January 2013, she reintroduced that bill. Finally, in May of 2013, the Senate did pass their version of a Water Resources Development Act. Then if you go to the next slide, however, that bill did not include any provisions for transfer of excess credits. So in June of 2013, Congresswoman introduced another bill that had other things in there that were also needed, but also included provisions for transferring excess credits. The House in that September finally uh, did their ORDA bill, and we all remember these because we were waiting for the Natomas authorization in these bills. Um, but they did not, that bill did not include the transfer of excess credits in it. So in November of 2013, Congressman Matsui and 10 other members of Congress sent a letter to the leadership asking that credit provisions, including the transfer of excess credits, be included in the WARDA bill. A lot of things happened between November 2013 and June of 2014 when the act was finally um, signed into law, but Section 1020 was included in that act, which allowed us, gave us the authority to transfer the excess credit between projects. However, about a little under a year and a half later, the Corps finally put out their implementation guidance on that section, but they added administratively a requirement that the donor project be complete before any excess credit could be transferred. Since the Thomas is still under construction, that made this provision a problem. So, Lynn, if you go to the next slide. So, SAFCA over the next two years worked to rectify the issue. So, when WARDA of 2016 was signed in December of 2016. It included Section 1166, which modified Section 1020 of WARDA 2014 that allowed that transfer of excess credit even if the donor project wasn't complete. So since that was signed into law in March 2017, we formally requested the transfer of excess credit and also submitted a comprehensive plan, which was required in the legislation to detail the source and destination of the credit. <clears throat> in May of that year, the district sent a letter back saying they couldn't do anything till implementation guidance on section 1166 was uh, approved by ASA's office. So in June 8th of that year, we sent a letter to headquarters and ASA and a, a little 
less than three weeks later, we did get that implementation guidance approved. So <clears throat> it took almost three years after that for the comprehensive plan to get approved by ASA's office. We're the only ones in the country utilizing this authority. And so um, being new, it, it just took a lot of work to try to get it through all the hoops in the core, but that did get approved. So Lynn, if you go to the next slide. So we're finally at our final step here, which is we have to amend the project par partnership agreements for both Natomas and 2016 to reflect the excess credit transfer. Though that language has all been worked out and approved over this last year up and down the lines. It is finally in headquarters and ASA's office for approval in DC. I went last month to DC uh, with the purpose of, of getting a commitment from them that they would get expedite those approvals. So they said that they would get them out within the by um, so that we would be ready when the contracts start being awarded in the second quarter of 2022. So we're expecting the approvals here within the next couple of months. Now, the reason this is important is we've been working with the district uh, in laying out uh, that 2022 is a big year for uh, contract awards. And we've been laying out with the district, they've planned all these, assuming that th we would be using our excess credits. And it's important that we start using them now because if we wait much longer, we'll start running out of contracts to apply them again. So I just wanted to bring you up to speed on everything going on. That's $100 million in credits that we're finally, after 12 years, are finally going to officially get to, to move over here. So take any questions on that, but I just wanted to keep you informed on that. Rick, you've been remarkably resolute in moving this thing forward. I've watched all the steps since about 2015. And man, you have really applied the effort here. Uh, so congratulations. It's, oh, thank you. It's the conclusion it's... to a pretty long journey. <laughs> Thanks. Any questions from directors? Next slide, please. Separate matters, item 13 is a public hearing resolution of necessity number 2021-107, continued from the September 16th, 2021 Board of Directors meeting, authorizing an imminent domain action to condemn real property interests for the reach A component a phase 4B of the American River Watershed Program, the Thomas Levy Improvement Project. It's a fee interest acquisition over a portion of Sacramento County APN 2740220073, located at 2050 Garden Highway in Sacramento, California, 95833. Property owners Linda Susan Parr, trustee of the trust for the benefit of David Donald Parr under the D. Donald and Alice E. Parr Revocable Trust, dated February 3rd, 1993. Linda Susan Parr, trustee of the Linda S. Parr Revocable Trust, dated January 4th, 2013, and David D. Parr. Pursuant to section 1245240 of the California Code of Civil Procedure, this item requires a two thirds or nine member approval vote to pass. Next slide, please. Good afternoon, directors. Uh, this is Matt DeGroat, Real Estate Program Manager. And um, so on this matter, we've made a lot of progress with this property owner and are very close to reaching a settlement. So at this time, we staff would like to recommend um, continuing this until next month's meeting. Thank you, Matt. Um, to directors, uh, because they're so close to resolving this issue, um, I do think it's wise to just continue it rather than adopt the RON. I would certainly entertain a motion to that effect. I'll move the motion, Chair Harris. I'll Thank second. second. Director Jennings was the first and I didn't catch the second. Desmond. Yeah. <laughs> okay, did you get that, Lindy? Desmond Abdus. <laughs> Don't be greedy, Ridge. <laughs> it was by Desmus. 
Okay. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any comments, questions? Don't hear any. Lindy, how about a roll call vote? Yes. Director Conan? Aye. Director Abdes? Aye. Director Reeder? Aye. Director Holloway? Please be able to vote aye. Excuse me? Aye. Thank you. Director Shaw? Aye. Director Ashby? Director Harris? Aye. Director Jennings? Aye. Director Desmond? Aye. Director Frost? Director Kennedy? Aye. Director Natoli? Director Natoli? Aye. Thank you. Director Cerna? Aye. Thank you. Okay. Motion passes to continue this item to the next board meeting with 11 member approval. Next slide, please. Actually, we're going to skip quite a few, Alia. Thank you. The remaining items are receive and file. Items 14 through 23, and those items were in your board packet or listed on SAFE's website. Next slide, please. Well, thank you, Lindy, for guiding us through with the agenda here. Are there any comments or questions by directors? Final words? Well, that concludes our business uh, for today's SAFECA meeting. I thank you all for your time and patience in closed session dealing with a couple of technological glitches. <laughs> and, uh, so I think we're good. We can adjourn the meeting at um, 4.05 p.m. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.